What's up guys, welcome to AB Auto. Today we're gonna to be talking about the unfortunate occurrence of car theft. So, let's go. So as you guys saw from that montage, the C43 is an awesome car, very, very desirable. But the only downside is desirable, awesome cars get targeted by thieves. The modern car thief is actually gonna steal your car using a computer. What do I mean by that exactly? Well, cars these days have keyless systems. So you don't put your car in the key in the ignition to turn on the engine. You're gonna press a button or even you might have keyless entry where you don't even have to touch your key fob. This is great and convenient and cool. However, it means that we're quite exposed to electronic car theft. So how does modern car theft work exactly? Well, what will happen is, is the thief will sit outside your house with a computer and then he'll wait until you've gone to bed and then he'll run a scan on this little device. And this, this, this device, it will pick up your key fob inside Inside your home and then he'll be able to extend the range of your key fob and then he just walks up to your car and opens the door and that's it he's in and then he's got the data of the key so he starts the car and he drives off and you wake up in the morning you look out for your lovely car and you're at shock because it's disappeared so obviously guys this is really scary i mean people can literally just walk up to your car scan your key inside your house open the door and drive off i mean what can we do to protect yourself against that well you're in luck because there's one really simple easy cheap method that you can use to protect yourself so the way i protect my car from thieves like that is using this small little pouch here very simple very cheap and affordable it's got a special material that on the inlay and what it does is you put your your keys in here even if you've got lots of key change, it doesn't matter. Seal it up, and now my key is fully protected from thieves. No, the key is not gonna be able to be transmitted outside this. Um, we're gonna prove this now. We're gonna take this in the car, and we're gonna see what happens when the car key is in the car in this pouch. Okay, guys, so let's go into the car now. I've got the key in my hand. Right, guys, we're in the car now, and we've got the key here, and we've got the pouch. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to try and see what happens if I try to start the car with the key in the pouch. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the key in the pouch and seal it up. Now, we're gonna go down and we're gonna see if we can turn on the ignition. So ignition here, let's see what happens. Holding our foot on the brake. Nothing's happened. So if we focus in there, it says, place the key in the mark space, see owner's manual. So what that means, it's not detecting the key in the car because it's in the pouch here, so I can't start my car. So as you can see, the pouch works really well there. So what happens if I take the key out of the pouch, then start the car, and then put the key in the pouch once the car's been started? Let's see. Okay, so the key is out of the pouch here, and we're gonna start the car. Okay, so the car is started up, the engine's running, we've got the key here, everything's going well. So we'll put the key in the pouch now and we'll see what happens to the car. Okay, key is now in the pouch. Nothing so far. We just try to drive. Okay, so the car is moving. But what happens if we open the door and then close the door? Ah, there we go key not detected. Now I'm not sure why I had to open the door. That's something to do with the car. Perhaps um, perhaps it would let us drive for a little bit. I think in another video, I'm gonna probably explore and see how this system actually works and see how far you can drive in the car without the key. But the pouch here is definitely working because now the key is not detected. Um, keys in the pouch, I'll just take it out so you can see. Excuse the bad camera work here. It's all hard doing it with one hand. So yeah, look, the key is in the pouch. Take the key out of the pouch, will it fix it? There we go. Now we can drive. How cool is that? So yeah, um, just wanted to make this video for you guys. I know a lot of my subscribers own these cars now. Some of you have got them on order. And it's really important for me to make sure that you guys know that there's simple, cheap ways to protect your car from theft because 
obviously as someone who's worked really hard to afford this car in life um, i'm only 30 years old so this is a massive deal for me to own one of these um, i've worked so hard for it and the thought of someone stealing it is just heartbreaking so i do everything i can to protect my car but these things happen and that's why we have insurance but um yep yeah, i'm going to leave a description in the, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave a link in the description below for where to buy these um one thing i haven't mentioned which is really important is you actually need to buy two of these they usually come in packs of two i know this one does because somewhere in your house you're going to have a spare key and you need to protect that spare key too because they can do the exact same thing with your spare key so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope it was helpful um, please hit that like button um, it really helps out the channel gives the videos more views and if obviously you're new to the channel and you like my content then please subscribe uh, we're growing fast i love you guys i love the car i'll see you next time